Look at this. Look at this beast, bro. This is the X6M50. Remember last week we saw the base X4? It's a sign, though. Every time we go to the city, dude, this is like a Eurus competitor. 1,000%. That is cool. Then we got over here the new Louis Vuitton and Nego billboard. Uh, we're not driving for once. We got a driver this time, so we don't have to actually... We can actually record safely now. Oh, this guy's aggressive. Oh, no. Oh, my... Oh, my goodness. My brother. Yo, chill out. That was too close. That was too close for comfort. But today we're headed to Supreme Burberry. Week 3, SS 2022. It's a huge one. We're going to throw some clips up right now and show you guys what it looked like at the first come first serve event in Soho. And as you guys just saw, it was absolutely mayhem. They ended up doing tickets. Same thing at uh, in over on the West Coast. They did a ticket system where you submitted your phone number, your name, and they put you into a whole text list. It almost, it's like an in-person of what we did online on Tuesday. Now, registration this week was actually not as bad as I would have expected. Nike was a lot worse in terms of registration online. Uh, this time it was a lot smoother for Burberry. Maybe they just had more spots available and didn't select as many people. I don't know. But today, as you guys do know, registration is only available for Brooklyn. Soho was first come first serve, so we're headed to Brooklyn this week, and it's a massive week. Of course, we got Burberry. We got box logo tees, hoodies. We got the online drop at 11. We got to be up in the store a little bit later after that. Um, and we'll see how it ends up going. We're going to Brooklyn. We haven't been to Brooklyn in a very, very long time. It was a lot of traffic today. Uh, so we'll see how it ends up going. And uh, hopefully it all goes well. So we'll catch you guys hopefully in front of the store. Now, right, this is what Soho is looking like. As you guys know, last night they gave out uh, tickets, wristbands. This is what it's looking like right here. Damn. Most people did get tickets, though, as I said. And. Uh, it's looking pretty calm though. Yeah, not too bad. Burberry actually just dropped online as well. It's 10 a.m. 10 a.m. They just dropped, so we're gonna go ahead and try. We're wasting some time. A thousand dollars, bro. Luckily, you know the group has a monitor set up for the set already, so we caught the drop. But it's absolutely ridiculous at uh at Supreme. But it'll be it's just dropping on Burberry stores and Burberry online. So we'll see if we cop them. Probably not. Free returns. You know what I'm saying? Maybe for the content. But uh, we'll see what ends up happening. We did pay a resale for some items. We did pay on top. We got some through our, our body work, but um, we did get some goodies. We'll do a full unboxing later on. As I said, uh, resale, dude, some people walk out the store and don't really ask for much. Like people haven't realized that these really went up prior to the in-store. Like before I walked in, decks were going for like 160. Now they're like at 220. I mean, that's like a quick increase. The online drop was almost an entire L for me. It was pretty much an entire L for me. Had issue adding to cart, uh, but in-store is our main focus today. As you guys can see, we're down in Brooklyn. We're into a nice coffee shop. This is actually a newer building as well. I remember when they were building this. Holy shit. And uh, we lined up for TNF down there. That was like a big week. And Supreme is right up there. So we might go back, get some footage of just how the store looks because some of you may be interested in that. Other than that, though, we're going to go eat and then we'll be at home and unbox the stuff. Not a lot of ton of, con ton of content here. Honestly, the traffic is just really bad around this area right now. Not sure why today. Probably because of the fog. You guys saw some of that as well. It was absolutely horrendous. Uh, but once again, we'll show you guys some footage in front. This entire block is all for Supreme. Look, we're like just start on the block, right? We, it's, we've been talking for like 10 minutes. Everyone in here is double parked. All right, here we go, Tesla lady. Go ahead. We can see double park blocking this intersection. You can't drive there anyways. But um, yeah, so this is what it looks like basically. This is Grand Street. Like all double parked both ways. But honestly, really, look, we got an M4. Other Oh, there you left. There was RS3 here. There was some Toyota TRD Pro 4Runners. This is outside of Supreme Brooklyn right now. Damn, this line is huge. And these are all reservations, by the way. And I guess people waiting for leftovers. Security is pretty tight as well. Um, but yeah, this is what it's looking like outside. It looks like all the cars left, though. Here we got another big BMW, you know, East Coast. Then we already got tickets over there. Unless someone just takes my method. The method for uh, for no tickets is put an old ticket on your windshield. And cops will, cops will kind of avoid you. And then here we go. That coffee shop is amazing. We were just there before we got in. 
And yes, yeah, so this is what in front. This is Supreme. You can't even tell it's Supreme unless you know. And there's like a little box logo sticker. But yeah, that's inside of the store. Well, it's, it's honest. I've seen this. It's probably compared to North Face. I'd say the amount of people here. Actually, a little more than North Face. A little bit more North Face. But uh, we're about to head to Midtown. No, Soho area. Get some sushi, and we might catch you guys a little more footage of Soho. But DSM. Oh, there was a fight out there. Don't want to go anywhere near there. Oh, oh no, no. Oh, yeah. oh. One guy almost got run over by a car, supposedly it looked like, judging by the content. Finally made it to the real world. This is sick. We got Board Ape, Yacht, Yacht Club, Friends, um, Crypto Punks. Oh damn, this is long. Oh, this must have, I must have seen this on social media. Damn, this is cool. I actually recognize some of them. That's dope. Tuna avocado, spicy old tail, and spicy tuna. Oh, tuna avocado, bro. Games, look at that dark meat. Yes. <laughs> Everybody, so we finally made it back home. It's about 4 or 5 p.m. Traffic was all right. You no, know, there was a, some cop cars pulled over some cars. We finally came back with all of our pickups. We're gonna briefly go through them. Um, it is a lot, as you guys saw. We tried to put some clips in of Soho. That was around like 3 2 30 p.m. Just around then is when we showed the Soho clips. And uh, all they had was box logo stuff, box logo hoodies, box logo tees. They said they're all sold out of jackets. The only thing they had left was out of the accessories was the uh, pink skate decks. Brooklyn, I know, sold out of jackets around spot like 60, 70. Uh, on the puffer jacket, they didn't have the trench coat. No store had the trench coat except Soho. Also, I saw some homies from Discord. You can check us out, Time Boy TV Plus. Some members actually told me that San Francisco was super calm. And for the most part, it was much more calm on the West Coast compared to the East Coast. But go figure. I mean, it is New York. That's where all these, you know, the iconic foam posit line started, all the iconic Supreme fights and all that other stuff started. So as you guys can see, we got a lot of stuff here. Uh, we're going to put, I guess we'll put this back to the side because this has like, that's good items, but you know, not the colors we exactly wanted. Uh, but here we got the main loot over here. By the way, this is not a Supreme item. I wish they did a puffer jacket like this, but this is the other puffer jacket they decided to do. Uh, so this is one of the main jackets. Once again, we did ask for an XL. However, unfortunately, as you guys can see, it's just a medium right here. Really, really crazy piece. We might, oh yeah, so if we can take it out from under here. Um, they luckily gave us from the back. I know the other jacket we're about to take out uh, gave us from the shelf. So they didn't have a ton of stock, but one of the coolest designs in my opinion is I love the back part right here. Really nice embroidery action. Once again, out on the box logo, for example, the hooded sweatshirt, if they did embroidery, would have been an absolute banger, but you got the Supreme box logo here, Burberry logo here, all this type of stuff. On the front, you just got the iconic Burberry emblem, and then you got that uh, nice fur over here as well. Burberry tag, all that type of stuff. Size medium, once again. No XL, no large, according to what they said. The person said when I went in, and uh, picked it up from him, but uh, overall, pretty good piece. Honestly, I like it. I think retail on this, I could be mistaken. I'll try to put it on the screen, which you also do have. Oh, this is sick. I did not notice this detail. And you guys can see Supreme. It's like embossed in with the Burberry logo as well, all up in there. So this is really, really cool. I forgot retail on this one, unfortunately. I do think it's about $400, but once again, we'll put it on the screen. We we're kind of just basing all of our stuff off the current market, and the market did go up once again as time went on. Now, here's another piece that I really like, the jeans. The jeans actually sold out in store really quickly as well. As you can see here, we got the Burberry, Burberry emblem right there, Supreme Burberry on the buttons. Like that, we got the blue down. This is size 32. 32 is... I think I can now fit it now that the bulk is over. I think we could fit it, but once again, I'm about 6'1". You can see how they look. They'll probably look pretty stacked once we put them on. I'm honestly not putting these on. 
I don't see no, <laughs> I can't. I think there's like 200, 300 dollars. But yeah, really well done with the quality. Got Burberry and Supreme logo on the back. Um, honestly, I like this, bro. It's like a little bit more subtle. It's not like too obnoxious. Like I get this jacket is a little bit too loud. That jacket's a little bit too loud for my liking. Wouldn't exactly wear all of it, uh, but I do like those denim pieces a ton. Uh, here we got the, of course, we got the Supreme Box Logo t-shirt right here. This retail for 60 bucks, black XL. Really, really surprised that the guy actually came out with an XL out of the store. Oh um, yeah. Well, of course we picked up some pieces ourselves, but there wasn't much stuff and we ended up going in. Uh, next up, we got the Box Logo sweatshirt, the black XL. Honestly, I do like the gray one a lot, lot better. I think the gray hits a little bit better with the whole brown on the Box Logo. But yeah, you guys can see right here the tag. Just come with a tag like that. And this one did retail for $200. I know with shipping and tax to New Jersey, this sort of came out to $230 because we try to go for this online. However, the fact of the matter is that oh, we got dubbed on Apple Pay. Somehow processing didn't end up going through. And now actually one of my favorite pieces, a little bit more stuff on was the rugby. I really like this. Somehow once again, had XL. Um, honestly, very, very surprised by that. You got the Burberry logo right there. And of course you got little, you can't really sell, you can see it too much over here, but you got the Supreme Box logo there as well. And then uh, you can see you got the Burberry, uh, not really the iconic flannel. You guys can see the design here, but it does have the iconic stripes. I'm not gonna unbox this because I do want to keep the DS as much as possible. But yeah, here's the rugby right there. And then my other favorite piece to match the denim pants is the denim jacket, XL right here. Now surprisingly, when I checked market last, the uh, the best color rate was the brown one. I honestly thought the jacket, the denim is a little bit harder. It is a little bit more subtle once again, but I guess sometimes people just like the louder pieces. But uh, yeah, this one is cool as well. We'll show you guys this. It's gonna hurt, but uh, you guys can see the detailing on the front. The Supreme Burberry buttons right there, made in China actually. Usually that's not the case for uh, a lot of these items, but that's what's up with these. And then you guys can see the Burberry logo on the back and then the alcohol, of course, the best part is the back design right there. Absolutely yes. I love the denim more honestly than the brown, if I have to say so myself. And uh, yeah, this one, now this was the third cheapest jacket. The second cheapest was the puffer. We just showed you in the beginning of the first one. And the most expensive at $1,000 was the uh, trench coat, which of course didn't have in store. It seems so, supposedly Soho had it, but uh, BK did not, which is where we went. This is a whole lot. So we got a pink puffer jacket right here. Once again, same design. This one we took off the shelf, supposedly. Came off the shelf, doesn't have a plastic bag. Size XL. Boom, like that, made in China, same deal. This fur looks a little bit dirtier. Hopefully, it's, it'll, it'll still be all right. And here we got the denim jacket right here. This is the pink. They didn't have a brown or nothing left. And they were actually giving some trouble. Sometimes people, I saw a lot of people came out with smaller bags than I expected. And the reason being is what I was told is then what I went in, I saw myself, is the fact that uh, they we had like I had eight items on my list in total minus the trench coat was seven and they only gave me five in the beginning they forgot my box logo tee and the jacket that I wanted and it had on the list they kind of just like secretly like didn't put in there you have to ask and make sure whenever you go in store they actually give you what you want we'll take these out right here unfortunately I did not get it with the other purchase but uh looks like we got some box logo set, set right here right on the bird ship you know the deal uh, that one's going those are going for like 40 50 bucks. Here's another rugby in the blue colorway, size large. Surprisingly also in some items, the large is doing a lot, lot better um, than XLs, which is unusual, but I guess those are the people that have the money. We have another box logo t-shirt right here, size XL white, really cool banger. I do like it. I just wish once again on the hoodie. Ooh, what a size is this? Large, boom, won't fit us, but we got the uh, large right there. If it was embroidered, it would have been an absolute banger, but it is what it is. And of course, last but not least, let me go ahead and show you guys the decks. Boom right here, and boom right here. Tell me, is Supreme dead? Because if it is, we made a bad, bad mistake this week. But uh, I guess it's dead besides the last two weeks. I mean, the first week was okay. We had the Bling Box logo. Uh, second week, we had Nike SBs. Third week, we had the absolute biggest drop, I want to say, in three or four years. Last time I saw something like this might have been Nike SB Dunk Lows. Like, the last time we saw a big mess outside of Soho like that. SB Dunk Lowe's, and before that, probably Louis Vuitton. It was honestly a really cool drop. Big fan of it, as you can tell. Uh, what are we doing with it? We're probably gonna be holding some items, just because like the collector in me likes to hold on to it, but we're gonna be selling some of the rest. We'll also see market right now is taking a little bit of a dip, but as time goes on, I do think uh, these will go up in value for the short term. 
and then eventually they'll go back down as all the orders come in and then back up. A lot of restocks going on, so make sure you check out the Supreme website. Of course, check out the group Time Boy TV Plus, so we talk about all the info and uh, stuff needed to get into the jobs. We talk about registration, Supreme Guides, we have all sorts of tips and tricks to cop. And of course, we have VC voice chats. If you ever want to ask me personal questions, you can go ahead and do that as well. So that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we're actually getting surgery tomorrow. We're getting our wisdom teeth removed, so don't know if we'll be able to make a video next week. Most likely will. But if anything, if that's why we have disappeared for a couple of days, that's the reason why. Before we finish off this video, I do want to apologize for the grainy footage at the end of the video. We just got out of surgery, so, you know, we are kind of low on energy and our mouth is killing us right now. But, um... Yeah, we kind of messed up the whole ISO with the whole camera. If you guys know anything about cameras, we messed up ISO. And it just did not... We messed up, but we cannot record it, unfortunately. But here's... I'll give you guys a brief little quick look. Once again, actually items just so much quicker, not as in-depth as, as what we just did, but uh, you know the deal. So we once again, we are keeping a majority of it since we did touch a good amount for retail. Um, we are going to be keeping some of it. We did already start taking inventory and we're going to be deciding what we're going to be doing over the next couple of days. But uh, prices are doing pretty well still. Some prices are going up and uh, fuck, my mouth hurts. Oh, and then here are the jackets as well. Made in China as well, which I saw a lot of people complain after the drop. Because uh, usually Burberry is made uh, in Europe, or it used to be at least, you know what I'm saying? So hope you guys enjoy. Once again, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.